चार आर सप्लाई चेन हाई लाइटिंग एंड शो केसिंग सोल्यूशन फॉर द मोस्ट कॉम्प्लेक्स चैलेंजेस फेस इन द इंडस्ट्री इन ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी बाय आर टीम ऑफ सब्जेक्ट मैटर एक्सपर्ट एंड मैन टॉर्स Broadcasting every week, all year round, we will present the most up-to-date series of podcasts and webinars. Hello and welcome to another episode of Bichara Supply Chain. This is Nur Hadi, your house. I'm speaking now with Julian. He is a supply chain professional and currently working for Kamini Polifitra as head of supply chain planning and he is based in Germany. We're going to talk about the culture effects on the global supply chain. Thank you and welcome to our show, Julian. Thank you for inviting me. Can you please brief about your role at Fitra, Julian, and what exactly are you doing as head of supply chain planning? Of course. So maybe um, uh, just a quick introduction word um, about Vitra for people who don't know. Um, we're focusing very much on um, design furniture. Mm-hmm. Um, as much in the um, office domain um, as well as in the home. So you can, you can um, purchase by us um, um, both um, furnitures and piece of furniture. Uh, my role as head of supply chain, I'm um, concentrating on the uh, processes and infrastructures. Yeah. Um, we're working on setting up the global supply chain for Vitra as a group. Mm-hmm. Um, in order to ensure uh, the optimal answer to our customer requirements. And the main challenge we're facing um, is um, mainly to respond to the very different requirements we have um, and the many sales channels we need to serve with one supply chain. Mm-hmm. Okay, awesome. So, um It is a fact that the supply chain now is becoming more global uh, and it is ov- obviously the the different cultural challenges in each region. So what is your observation as a supply chain professional and tell us the top issue you may have when managing supply chain on the global level? Mm-hmm. Um, well, see, maybe a, a little note at the beginning. Yes, the, the, um, the trend was... Uh, towards um, 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 a global integration of the supply chain. And I have the tendencies, uh, however, to see um, under the pressure of the um, ecological requirements and this COVID-19 um, mm-hmm. um, story, uh, a slight tendency to more uh, local regional sourcing. But I agree with you. Um, I do not see uh, a major downturn Um, that will lead us to only local and regional supply chains and the global supply chain management will remain a challenge. That being said, um, I identified four um, challenges and issues uh, in my careers. Um, the first one is, uh, may, may sound very trivial, but it's a language. Yeah. Um, we're talking together in English. Uh, English is the, the world business language, but still, um, if you're not talking... Um, your native language, you always have nuances, um, 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 understanding meaning that may vary from a person to the other, from one culture to the other. And that's one of the challenges uh, I've been experiences, experiencing. Mm-hmm. Together we see um, cultural differences. And again, that's relate, that relates again to the understanding of um, situations of rules of roles you know what is the role of the manager uh, what is the meaning of, of a rule how is a, 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 a kpi to be understood and the best example i have is is uh, when I, i used to work in malaysia and i made the experience with a no mm-hmm. uh, there is no way somebody in asia will answer you with a no mm-hmm. and For me as European, um, you know, I'm always asking, okay, did you understand what I meant? And I expect either a yes or a no. Um, that's not the way it works in Malaysia, for example. And yeah. these are very simple, very trivial things that can actually hinder your uh, your success in supply chain management. Yeah. The third point um, I've, I've noticed is um, systems. Um, we work with many different suppliers, with many different companies, 
Um, and it's very rare that the companies work with the same um, IT landscape, the same IT infrastructure. And I know this is a big promise of um, the digitalization trend of the uh, blockchain trend. But for now, uh, on my day-to-day -day life, um, this is one of the big challenges we need um, to handle every day. Mm -hmm. And then the fourth item I see is... Um, a combination of time difference and distance. I mean, when you work uh, with someone on a daily basis in the same office, the communication goes relatively smoothly. Yeah. Um, if you need to cope with time difference, if you need to cope with distance, then the integration of a team of people, the integration of a group of people um, is quite of a challenge. Mm -hmm. So this, this would be the, the top four challenges I see, I identified, experienced, um, in, in terms of uh, global supply chain management. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. I wanted to jump into another question. Uh, so what would be the best approach? What would be the best way to overcome the challenge, Julian? Well, I, you, I, you probably could write a book about that, but um, to, to summarize that, um, and, and that's what I've been applying uh, over the past 13 mm -hmm. years I'm working now. Um, my first principle is to act with integrity. Integrity. Um, integrity, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because what I have noticed and experienced is that in all cultures, and I've been working in North America, I've been working in Europe, I've been working in Asia, um, and that always worked. When you base your work on integrity and with integrity i mean stay transparent stay fair stay direct stay honest um and then things work you know if you want to get people on board you need to show them respect and the first for me the base of respect is the integrity um and and that's really the cornerstone according to me um of uh, an efficient um um cultural management of a supply chain. Mm -hmm. um, the second item I would say I, I would see is um, recognize the, the, the chain as a team. You know, you, you bring people, not necessarily from one company, but from several companies. You know, we're talking about suppliers. We're talking about freight forwarders. We're talking about custom agents. We're talking about uh, distributors, customers, um, and they're all part of the same chain. If, if we want to serve the end customer efficiently, that chain needs to work smoothly. Um, and that can only work if that chain um, works as a team. And if you make sure that you help everyone to help yourself too. And that's, of course, relates to the integrity. Again, if you stay fair, transparent, honest towards everyone, then you can expect the same to, to, uh, from the other persons. Um, the two other points are um, a bit more um, technical in brackets. Um, my next point is really a, a, a very hard, tough principle uh, I'm also expecting from my team is to ban emails. Um, I do not think you can overcome cultural differences you cannot overcome distance and time difference if you only count on emails. Yeah. Um, I, I, I strongly believe that you need to get people on the phone, on Skype, on video conferencing, um, at, at the very least, as regularly as possible. Um, because that's how you create a common understanding. That's how you um, can clear misunderstandings that may be culturally based too. Yeah. Um, and and it, I mean, it's, it's, very, it's very common that um, when you read an email or even a text, um, you read it with your mood, with your understanding, with your um, cultural um, um, glasses. Um, and this is something you can definitely, definitely overcome if you can listen to the person's reaction in front of you. Mm -hmm. um, and the last item um, I also established in all the companies, in all the positions I've been working on, um, was to establish, establish simple standards and routines. Um, I strongly believe that um, an efficient supply chain, an efficient um, 
multicultural global supply chain is based on very well established and very well understood standards and routines. And with routines, I mean, um, what is a daily routine? What are the daily deliverables? Um, what are the KPIs we're following? And what is to be understood through that? Mm-hmm. And I think that's how we create a common understanding of what is to be delivered, what is expected by the end customer, so that we can all together deliver what we're supposed to. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Another thing I would like to ask is um, why managing a cultural response is taking very important roles in contributing to the success of uh, supply chains management? Well, I think um, you need to be able to manage those supply chains because they're part of our world today. I mean, it's, it's um, even again, if we see a trend towards uh, a, a bit more local and regional sourcing, uh, you will still have in terms of raw material uh, or, or, or for technical or cost reasons, this globalization of the supply chain. And what I've just explained is that a successful supply chain relies on two main items. It relies on a proper alignment and common understanding of the targets. And it relies even more importantly on our main asset, which is the people. Mm-hmm. So, the reason why you need to master that, the reason why you need to, um, I would even say, put that in the very top of your priority is because if you don't have this common understanding and common basis, then you will never ever manage to overcome the cultural issues. And the second item is if you don't put people in the top of your list, then there is no system, there is no IT asset um, that will allow you to overcome any exception to um, get you out of trouble once you're in there. So again, the, the reasons why it's in, that important is because the integration, proper integration of a supply chain relies on both main, uh, my both uh, main cornerstones, people and common understanding. Mm-hmm. Okay, nice. So, this is my last question today, but uh, I think still quite relevant to what we discussed. So my question actually is how to build a, a harmonized global supply chain cultures where everyone respects a local culture without disrupting the, the company's culture itself. So what is your view? Um, my view is that it's um, a daily challenge, um, but I would summarize my view in three um, buzzwords or Mm -hmm. or expressions. Um, The first one is lead by example. Lead by. Um, Yeah, lead by example. Because if you um, expect people to be honest, to be fair, to be transparent, to show integrity, then you need to do it first. You need to do the first step. Um, The second point is lead by facts. You need to make sure that if pe- so that people have a common and same understanding of the situation, common and same understanding of what the targets are, then make sure you come up with numbers, with facts, with proper deliverables, and not with impression, misunderstanding, um, and, and uh, prejudices. And the last item I would see, um, and, and what I also put in place is, um, lead by leaving the integration. And what I mean with that is get in touch with people as often as possible, uh, make the first step towards people, um, raise your hand towards people, make sure you um, integrate the people to the supply chain management. Mm-hmm. And this would be the three, um, the three principles um, I would apply to 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 manage a successful global supply chain. Mm-hmm. Very nice, fantastic. So, thanks so much, and thanks for coming, Julian. At Vichara Supply Chain, we are committed to driving global perspective to embrace technological adaptation in improving process efficiencies. 
Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the Chara Supply Chain. And stay tuned for the latest updates. To learn more, visit our website www.picharasupplychain.com. Thank you for listening to us. We look forward to seeing you at our next episode.